Hi, this is Ilma Art Studios photograph for today, and um, that's a highway scene from uh, Dragon Black Dragonfly Park in Orangeville. Hi, check my website at ilmaarts.com for more artworks and photographs. Today I'd like to share John 10 verses 1 and 2. It says, I tell you the truth, anyone who sneaks over the wall of a sheepfold rather than going through the gate must surely be a thief and a robber. But the one who enters through the gate is a shepherd for the sheep. Here's my poem. Enter through the gate. Why would anyone choose to sneak? Wouldn't you rather open look, openly look or peek? Why would you not enter through the gate? It is the only way you can be free, freed and saved. Enter through the gate who is Jesus Christ. Don't listen to the devil who is full of lies. Listen to Christ's voice and follow him. He will free you and lead you to conquer sin. Here's my essay. Sheep have often been associated with men in the Bible. There are many characteristics of sheep that are likened to men. They are both stubborn, restless, sometimes love to go astray. They love to roam aimlessly. We are almost like sheep. We disobey and go through life without purpose and meaning. The Bible tells us that anyone who sneaks over the wall of a sheepfold rather than going through the gate must be a thief. The one who enters through the gate is the shepherd of the sheep. Jesus is the shepherd of all believers. The enemy tries to sneak in people's lives and make them go astray and disobey God. Christ leads them back through the gate to eternity. Prayer. Lord, help us to hear your voice always. Reflection. Do you hear God's voice and follow his lead? For many years, I didn't, but now I do. Um... For many years, I was um, enslaved by my mind. I was enslaved by my desires. I was enslaved by ambition, selfish ambitions, which were not what God wants us to do. Um, when I started going through reading the Bible daily and really just not reading but studying it and applying it and hopefully... Um, meditating on it as much as I can. Then I started hearing God's voice. When I didn't do that, I just heard all the things that I want to do in my life and I followed and followed it. It's a very soulish and worldly way of living. And I can see the very difference from my past to now. Because now that I hear God's voice, sometimes people think I'm crazy because I really um, have a direct conversation with God almost every day, every morning when I wake up. And I ask him what to do for the day and he tells me, gives me an answer very clearly and then that answer will really manifest in that day. You know, con like a confirmation of God's, of me hearing God's voice in the actual questions that I ask is answered usually during the entire day. So I invite you, enter through the gate. Do not sneak into um, or do not allow the thief to sneak in your life. Just allow God to enter, let you enter through his gate, which is his truth. So if you seek his truth, you will enter his gate. And there's only one way, that is the correct way, which is God's way. Thank you for watching, and I hope you check my website at ilmaarts.com for more artworks and photographs. Have a blessed day.